Hey, my little Einsteins. So today we're going to do a quick revision or a review about addition. So for in this lesson, we're going to talk about two different kinds of addition, where we have regrouping and without, the normal one, the basic that we know. The regrouping one is when I talk about how it goes to the next place value. So for example, let's take a look at the rule. When it's regrouping, it's a little bit tricky, but here is a little song or a rhythm that we can help. Put your tens up high and your ones down low. Add them all together and you're ready to go. So for example, if we said our ones is 5 plus 8. So we said 5 plus 8 is 13. Now, our number is 13. Okay? So we have to change it. We're going to put the 3 on the low as the bottom. So we're going to write it 3 as a z on the ones place. And then we're going to put 1 in the tens place. So if you see, it's right there. We're going to carry that one. So the one is high and the three is low. That's what, how it is. Okay? That's when it's going to be regrouping. When the three is low and the one is high. So let's try to practice some. So for example, here is our first one. We have 62 plus 18. Ooh, let's think. So when we're adding, we do the ones first. So we do ones first. Okay? Remember, we always start with the ones. That's the first thing we need to do. So let's think. We have 2 plus 8. 2 plus 8 is how much? That's going to be 10. So our number is 10. We're going to put the 0 down, and we're going to bring up that 1. Okay? So remember, our number is 10. The 0 is our 1's place. So we're going to put the 0 low and the 1 high. So we're going to do 1 plus 6 is 7. 7 plus 1 is 8. So my in total is going to be 80. Just like that. So we bring down the 1, the 0 down, and then the 1 up. Let's do another one. So for example, we have 38 plus 27. So first we're going to count the 1's place. We're going to do 8 plus 7. Let's see. 8 plus 7 is how much? If you said 15, you're correct. So 15 is our total. We're going to bring the 5 low, okay? And we're going to bring that 1 high. 1, we're going to bring it all the way up there. Just like that. We're going to split up those two numbers. So then we're going to add 1 plus 3 is 4. 4 plus 2 is 6. So my total is going to be 65. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, super easy guys, it's like KG1 math. Let's do this one, we have 9 plus 4, so we're going to say 9 plus 4 equals, dun, 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 dun. if you said 13, you're correct. So our number is 13, we're going to bring the 3 down and that 1 up, okay? Then we're going to do 1 plus 5, 6, 6. Plus 3 is 9. So my total is 93. It is just that easy. That's it. That's how simple it is. Let's do some more. We have 25 plus 14. So let's add. 5 plus 4. 5 plus 4 is 9. Wait, so this is a time where we don't need to do the rhythm. Or we don't need a high and low. So this is basic. This is the normal one I was telling you about. So you're going to do 9. That's it. You're just going to write the 9 on the bottom. I don't need to carry anything on top. Then we're going to do 2 plus 1 is 3. So our total is going to be 39. That's the normal one I was telling you about. This is the basic addition that we know how. Let's try one more. We have 43 plus 56. 3 plus 6 is going to be 9. And 4 plus 5 is 9 as well. Oh, snap. 99 is our answer. That's easy. That's it. So this is the normal one I was telling you guys. And the regrouping is where we have to carry it on top. So let's take a quick look at our little song you can sing. Put your tens up high and your ones down low. Add them together. Add them all together and you're ready to go. So we're going to put the ten value right here. And we're going to put the one value down there. So if our number is 13, we put that 3 down and the 1 up. It's that simple. I hope you guys enjoyed this lesson. If you have any questions, please email your teacher. Thank you.